let's look at words that have an N and a K together in them. This is going to be at the end of the word or at the end of a syllable. And we're going to focus on words that have ik, ank, onk, and unk in them. The ink and the nk is, a, is an ending consonant blend. And that means there are two sounds, but they kind of blend together. And then, as we said already, these, this lesson is going to have words with ink, ank, onk, and unk in them. And I'm sure that you can think of some words that maybe we're missing that have these, these same endings. Well, this one's a word by itself, but it's also part of words. Ink. And if you could read ink, put a s in front of it, and you have s ink sink t ank tank ink wink and to wink is you know when you just blink that one eye there that's a wink link like the skating rink and here we have a blend dr ink drink St, ink, stink, brink, br, ink, brink. This one I know everyone knows. Ank, thank, or thank you. F, ink, think, j, unk, junk, honk, Bonk, zonk, that's a fun word, sp, unk, spunk, pr, ank, prank, bl, ink, blink, tr, unk, trunk, like an elephant's trunk, or the trunk in my car where I might put groceries or suitcases or luggage. Cr ank, crank. And this could be someone that's being a little bit cranky, or if you have to, you know, when you turn something, you have to crank it. It's got, got a couple meanings there. Pink. Bunk, like the top of bunk in a bunk bed. Let's practice some sentences with ink or nk words. Honk your horn. My junk is in the shed. Jack can sleep in his bunk. Did you blink? Thank your mom for the pop. Now, practice them again and see if you can read them in phrases. Like, honk your horn. My junk is in the shed. Or maybe, my junk is in the shed. Jack can sleep in his bunk. So as you, as you practice the sentences, um, you'll get a little bit better each time, and then you won't be reading necessarily word by word, but phrase by phrase. And that will help you become a better reader, too. Thank you for joining me.